Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. And welcome back, everyone. Doing something a little bit different today. I've got Renee with me. Renee, I have a quick question for you. Do you remember what happened in weather one year ago today? Do you remember on what you were day. on this day? A big old blizzard. That is absolutely <laughs> correct, folks. Today on this day was the first day of a three-day blizzard that dropped one to three feet of snow across our area. In fact, let's roll that beautiful blizzard footage here. There's Renee out there telling everybody <laughs> to get ready for the snow. And boy, did it snow for three days. Bismarck ended up getting about 17 inches of snow, just an absolutely Horrible time for Western and Central North Dakota. Look at some of these totals across the region. Three feet in Harvey, two to three feet there just to the east of Harvey, 12 to 18 in the Bismarck area. Thanks to the Weather Service in Bismarck for this graphic. Just an unbelievable amount of early October snow, and it all began on this day one year ago. Thankfully, nothing like that right now in the capital city. A gorgeous sunset underway right now and very comfortable temperatures. 71 degrees, but those southeasterly winds are blowing at 20 miles an hour with higher gusts. Here's a look at those temperatures. Man, it is warm out there for the second week of October. As I said, 71 in Bismarck as well as in Mobridge. Look at Stanley, or Sydney, excuse me, 80 degrees, 82 in Wolf Point. All of these warm southeasterly winds in our area ushering in that warmer air. Satellite radar picture is nice and quiet for now, but clouds will be on the increase as we go through the overnight hours. Still do have that red flag warning for western areas as that relative humidity and strong winds creating dangerous fire conditions. And we have a wind advisory in effect for a handful of counties out west for about another two hours till 7 o'clock mountain time. Here's a look at those winds. Very strong out of the south southeast between 20 and 25 miles an hour and we do have higher embedded gusts up near 40 miles an hour in Dickinson, 36 in the Magic City and near 30 miles an hour in Rugby and Harvey. We are watching this cold front that'll slide through the area throughout the day tomorrow and what we're going to have is what are called post frontal showers develop. Couple of sprinkles after the front passes. I think the worst of the rain will start to develop to the east once it moves past our area. And if you have plans to head to Minnesota tomorrow, quite the squall line of thunderstorms could develop. So keep that in mind if your travels take you east during the day tomorrow. Lows tonight, not too bad. About 15 degrees above where we should be for this time of the year in the lower 50s. Here's your three-day forecast for Dickinson. Man, what a great sunset out there. Temperatures stuck in the upper 50s for the next couple of days with very, very breezy conditions. A couple of showers tomorrow in Williston and then very, very gusty winds. About the same thing as we look at the Bismarck Extended. Lots of sunshine and gusty winds, but notice toward the end of the extended period, temperatures cooling off in a big way. Only a high of 49 next Friday. Same thing in the Magic City. We will have a big pattern change coming up for the rest of the month with those temperatures. You can see there in Minot, upper 40s. And it could get even colder than that, Renee, as we get to the later part of the month. Oof. All right. Thanks for being the bearer of bad news yep. there, Robert. <laughs> Coming up next in sports, one local high school is bringing a state championship back to Bismarck. Stay tuned to hear from the champs themselves.